Okay, we're going to go over just the basics of how to work with exponents. We're going to be dealing with problems of this form. There's a number, which we'll call the base, and then up to the right corner, there'll be an exponent. So it would be something like a b, that might be some number, and then another number here up here with the exponent. So 3 with a little 2 is red. 3 to the second power. Or a little shortcut when it's 2 is just write 3 squared. So what it means is you take the base and you multiply it times itself however many times you see the exponent. So since the exponent is 2, multiply the base times itself 2 times. All right. Now, this is a basic definition. So we're going to be dealing with numbers where the base could be positive or negative eventually, but in this video they're only going to be positive and where the base is a whole number. So we're going to have no fractions, no negative numbers, and later it'll have a little bit different meaning when we don't have whole numbers. So this is a basic idea if they're all whole numbers. So here's another example. If I say what's 5 with a little 3, so the big number here is the base, and you multiply it however many times, times itself however many the exponent is. So this would be 5 times 5 times 5, and you multiply that out, you get 1 and 25. And it's red this way. 5 to the third power. Power is another word for exponent. Or it so happens, anytime it's a 3, a shortcut, instead of saying to the third power, you could say 5 cubed. So shortcut when the exponent is 2, instead of saying to the second power, Instead, you can say squared and the shortcut when exponent is 3. You can either say to the third power or you could just say the word cubed. Okay, now what if we have 2 and we have a little 4? There is no special way of saying this. We read this 2 to the fourth power. And since the base is 2, right, the big part here is the base, I'm going to write this down. The base is 2 and the exponent is 4. We want to write 2 times itself 4 times. Now you can go left to right and say 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16 or you can use the idea that you've got a 4 times another 4 and get 16. How about this? The shortcut way would be to read this as 6 squared. Okay? And again, the base is 6, so we multiply it how many times? 2 times. 6 times 6 is 36. 
All right, what about when the base is a fraction? 2 thirds to the third power, which is also the same as saying 2 thirds cubed, it means you're multiplying 2 thirds, that's the base, times itself three times, okay? So this means that's how many factors, each of these is a factor, how many factors of the base are multiplied together. Well, you just multiply the numerators together, which is not 2 times 3, it's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and 3 times 3 times 3, that's 9 times 3, which is 27. All right, what about when the exponent is 0 or 1? So what if I said 3, the little 1, that means you only have one factor of 3. So that's the answer. So this is 3 to the first power is 3. 5 to the first power would simply be 5. And in general, b to the first power is b. It doesn't matter what number that is, if you're doing it to the first power, it's b. Now the next part's a little bit tricky. There's a definition, and this definition will make sense as you go on later and do laws of exponents. But for now, it's actually a definition. It's like you look it up in the big dictionary and this is what it says. If you have any anything to the zero power, it's one. Okay. Why this makes sense will be made clear later after you understand some more difficult concepts. But for now, what is 2 to the 0 power? What does that equal? You got it, 1. What is 5 to the 0 power? Hmm, it's also 1. What's 139 to the 0 power? It's 1. It really doesn't matter what the number is, what the base is, if it's to the zero power, the answer is one. There's one tricky one though. Zero to the zero is not defined. Right? So, sorry, you can't say what it equals. Okay. However, what will we do if we had zero to the fourth power. That we could do. We're going to multiply zero times itself four times and you're going to get a zero still. So this is the tricky one. If they're both zeros, it's not defined. Otherwise, if zero is in the base or if it's in the exponent, we're okay with it. So here's where it's in the base and then if I have something like four to the zero, that's where it's in the exponent, that's equal to one. But keep in mind, zero to the zero power is not defined. Okay, so here's just a few for you to try and then you'll be done. Alright, put it on pause. Try those five problems. Here we go. 3 to the third power means multiply 3 times itself 3 times. That'll give you 27. 7 to the second power or 7 squared means 7 times itself 2 times. 1 fifth squared means 1 fifth times 1 fifth, which is 1 25th, multiplying the numerators, multiplying the denominators. 6 to the 0, hmm, anything to the 0 power is 1. And 0 to the 3rd power, 0 to any power except 0 itself is 0. And here it is, what's the last one? 0 to 0, what's that equal? Ah, you have to write this out in words. There's no shortcut for writing out that this is simply undefined.
you can't just say it equals u and think everybody knows that you think that means undefined. You can't write the null set. Those of you who know what that means. It's a number that is not defined. So that's a little lecture on the basics of exponents. I hope you learned something. Remember math is cool.